Welcome to the night show. We are online right now. I'm your host, Graham MC, your night of entertainment. The one, the only, TK Diz, Isaac, Quickstep, and Orion. You know what you call, call me, and I welcome you back to our nightly adventure of SAO Alkalization. Where right now, our goal is to... Find Medina, because she's causing some issues. Of course, it has to be somewhere in the West things are going to hell. Nonetheless, the games have begun. We started a close. And there's monsters. Very much, I want to stab him. I'm gonna give it a moment to let that calm the fuck down. I'm curious, what is this one going to give us? A warrior who stands before me, I acknowledge the strength of your spirit. A warrior of old I am, the stone my body, the safety of this land my eternal wish. I offer upon you a trial, rid this land of the evil world lurking within. Should you complete this task, I bestow upon you my blessing. Seek out the great evil lurking in the Medea Plains and rid the land of it. The quest list, blah blah blah, basically. Show up and we gotta find Horn Cave Crickets. That's... I don't even know how to respond to that. Oh, we're, going, we're running completely into a new zone. Interesting. As always... No 
Hose on. Rapal Green Belt. And since it's an ozone, let's travel. Save, why don't we? Even though I'm pretty sure we should have literally just saved recently. Because it said level 10 the moment I took my swing. Because I legit thought they said it was a level 30. <laughs> like, totally gotta kill this. I wonder if all three we're seeing on our map right now is legit location. See how they call this Menonus Fort. She gets herself a little town. Is she in a chapel? <sighs> okay, I'm like gonna restock like this. <laughs> Something wrong? <laughs> yeah, beasts are blocking the bridge and I'm stuck here. That's a problem indeed. We'll go take them out for you. Would you? I appreciate it. What? Oh wow, there's just like a legit little town here. What does this have to do with anything right now? I couldn't tell you, but... Nonetheless... I'm casual to do fall damage to myself. So, why not? These must be the beasts he was talking about. Seems so. Let's do this. It's kind of funny when they let you do just up here. You know, these slugs honestly make me think of someone in camel right now. For some reason, I was also thinking of them as slimes, but they don't look like Green Maru. Oh, I'm under confusion. Okay, first order of business, I'm gonna find a slug I am not. have already started near dead because this is getting to the point where I need to separate them. Also apparently there's the lemon plant? Do I look like this is my- do you think this is Mario Kart? We don't have any- Why the fuck can I not hit them? No. I'm just confusion. All of us are like weak and just- 
He's only he's got a shield. Let's thin out the crowd. I swear, I thought for a second that did no damage. I was like, the fuck? Okay. I'm well aware what you meant. Okay, there's something very... Am I not supposed to be killing these slugs? I don't think I'm supposed to be killing the slugs. Something about this seems to... Please tell me I did not just die. Get it one health. Right, I guess you we weren't supposed to kill the slugs because it just looked like me they were responding. There's still beasts roaming around. Let's take care of them. Can I get healed first? Uh, are you kidding me? Let's see if my respawn thing works. Okay, so let's just take a few minutes and let our health come back, because, damn, we are, we are beat. Yeah, I'm guessing we weren't actually supposed to beat the slugs. Casually wait for Kirito's health to get a little bit back higher. And for your question about giant snail, you mean slugs, right? Are you expecting us to fight a slug?
Now let's see if the slugs will be as annoying as they were, because I do think they were just meant to be an endless amount, because they were supposed to be spawned from the plant. At least now we're all healed up. As long as we focus on them one step at a time, we'll get through this. Begin farmer. Why did it switch to? Was it sent on our part last time? Okay, good. Not. Really. Okay, I'm just gonna switch off and <laughs> Kirito will find his way back up here somehow. No, oh, there he is. Take him back with Martin. I think that's all of them. Looks like it. Great work. Thanks. Let's be able to report back. Let's see if we spawn back on the bridge. No, no. We took care of the beast block on the bridge. Oh, thank you. I owe you so much. No, I'll take care. You stopped the bridge blocking beasts. The people of Cliff Cliffia, wow. Alright, we can get side quests from this, but we're not here for side quests. We're here for men as fort. What the? I got a feeling we're not in the right zone for... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I got a feeling that this 
we were going was not in this zone, which makes us wonder, why did we go to that cliff to begin with? Are we just literally looking all over the west for their... Poor Lydia. Zone, which makes you wonder if we're going to go into another area. I mean, after this, because obviously we went to another area. Nothing, hmm. uh, rocks. No. The foot we're looking for should be up ahead. Nope. We must hurry after Medina. But first, let's travel. Don't save. Disappoints that there has not been one monster yet. And I say that as I see a monster. Two monsters that are my level. This one's not. I guess think that's Medina's fort. Those are guards, they're terrible at their jobs. I just literally ran in. You shall not pass. Save your old orders. Forcing our way seems like a bad idea. Gotta come up with another plan. No. Hey, have the supplies from the village come in yet? Not yet. How long are they going to keep us waiting? Supplies. Hmm. Time to pay this village visit. You think it's going to be better? Search for the village with the supplies. Watch the village is all dead gone. No, I got rid of them. Am I supposed to run out of the zone for this? No, I just wasn't trying to open my marker. And 
already kind of fast. Travel sequence. Fast travel point. Yeah, no sequence. Excuse me, by any chance, have you been delivering supplies to the fort up there? Well, have you? Putin like, yeah, but I don't like the people there. Sure, the village is doing better than thanks to them, but honestly, they freak me out. So we're told all the children to stay away from them. I see. Maybe we could make the delivery for you, if you don't mind. Would you? Oh, that would be such a help. Required supplies. Nice. We should be able to get in with this. Uh, now we're just backtracking. So this village is really just a minor settlement. Miners settlement, not a minor. Homophones, it's what's for breakfast? Still doing nothing to stop me. Congratulations, quest clear. Why this is the quest clear, I have no idea. We made it to the fort now just to sneak in posing a supply delivery. Hmm? Wait, what the hell are you doing here? Crap, that's the wayfair that spotted me earlier. Can't back out now, though. We brought surprise from, supplies from the village. Yes, please let us pass. Excuse me, you stole the supplies? What is wrong with you? Stole? No. Excuse me, my partner, we are merchants, and we are simply looking at a destination. Hm. Apologies for the unneeded concern raised by his failure to identify himself. Oh, uh, is that so? You sure aren't woke up like merchants. He's not just going to let us in, so we'll just have to push past him. Excuse me, we're here with the supplies. Hey, excuse me, I will be on my way as well. <laughs> Wait, you can go in, but leave the delivery here. Hey! I wouldn't have expected that. Them to come all the way up here. Do you presume the rest of the wayfarers are here as well? Yeah, more than likely. You there. We know Menna is here. Where is she? I don't answer to you. Leave this place at once. We have business with Menna. Oh, Menna, you're here, aren't you? How dare you just our savior with such vulgarity. Vulgarity? What the fuck did you think he said? I think I said more vulgarity in that sentence. Can you, please, can you tell Menna that her friends are here to see her? This is in full silence. Wait. Let them in. Bring them to me. Yes, my savior. I guess we're not going to explore this area. Mm. 
Ooh, all cuts in you like. I just got herself a little thrown. It's been a while, Kirito. What business do you have with me, Menno or Thanius? I still can't get over her eyebrows. Menno, how can you just disappear without a word? And what's with all this? Please, allow me to apologize for any trouble my disappearance has caused. But to all of you, my presence was not necessary, nor has it ever been. That's not true. We need you, Medna. You have no idea how worried we are. That's just, well... <laughs> Do not slam control. I figured you would say that. But it doesn't change how I feel. She's told us something, right? Medna. There's nothing further to discuss. I've seen the truth. What you've been hiding... In me all along? The truth? What do you mean? I would like to know, because that was not proper. I must become the savior to take back that which is important to me. Important to you? You mean house? Or clean house? Honor? What else is there if not that? Your family? Your friends? Heart? Run. These individuals are guilty of treason against your savior. Oh my god, man, yeah. Treason, so their enemies are our savior. Oh, my savior, banish these traitors. Traitors. We cannot forgive such treason. Wait, I have but one thing I would like to ask you. What is it, Alice? While in Westeroth, we witnessed Wayfarers performing inhumane acts, using civilians as decoys to lure beasts and as human shields to protect clamps. They said they were following orders, but were you aware of their actions? I never expected them to go to such lengths, but cannot deny responsibility. However, they were necessary sacrifices for the resurrection of Lady Pontifex. Don't resurrect the Pontifex! The administrator's revival minute. Is that what you're trying to do? Yes. So ordering wayfarers to slay beasts, protect plants, and collect their fruits? It's all in order to accomplish that goal? The Senate representative told me that her revival was my true calling. So it's true, you're colluding with her skin now. You honestly believe what that raven lunatic tells you? How could you? Your time is up. I have no further reason to explain myself to you. No, no, he has no idea what he's talking about. I don't know what his game is, but I guarantee you won't play out how he said. What's going on to you, Medina? Is it obvious? As usual, your meddling nice guy act makes me sick. Here it though. I know. You know all of us taking on this many of our wayfarers will be... Oh, oh. If you agree to retreat, I'll have them lower their weapons. Fine, but I want you to remember one thing. What is it now? You're important to us. We'll be waiting for your return. I have something to say to you as well. I hereby declare my resistance against the false Axum Church and its ACTF. If any of you stand in my way next time we meet, I will not hesitate to draw my sword. Menno, why are you doing this? I'm done talking, unless you rather cut down all these wayfarers to stop me now. Again with the human shields. Do you get it? This is who I am. Someone like me doesn't belong with your kind. Kind? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Yet, I too have the will to exact my own brand of justice, no matter the sacrifice. Now get out of my sight. It appears reconciliation is out of the question. Yeah, we need to throw in the towel for today. Ugh. I wonder how far are we in this place?
Moreover, with the worsening lightning, I fear it may reach nearby villages. Investigating the lightning needs to take priority, and Sheta should be fine. Indeed, I am concerned for Medna, but for now, we should focus on other manners. For instance, pulling a stop to whatever's to what's happening around the clamps. Yeah, exactly. I want to help as many of them as possible, but before it's too late. After that, we return to where everyone was standing by to report what happened. I see, oh, no. That means those were, those were following Medina's orders after all. Yeah, I was just as shocked. But there was, there has to be some reasonable explanation. But it's just so hard to believe. And here I thought Medina was a good person. It seems Hershian and Medina have much more in common than we thought. Sadly, but as long as she's hiding behind those wayfarers, our hands are tied. Still, I honestly never expected her to take things so far. I always knew her to use her power. I always knew her use of po such power was wrong. This just further solidified to that. Even so, we can't stop Medina with things as they are now, can we? Right, but we can't afford to sit around and do nothing either. There's also Shaita and the Lightning. We need to act before the villagers suffer. Did you discover anything regarding those matters? All I heard was that there were lightning strikes in a place called Cliffa. Cliffia. We've already been there. That's, that's plenty. We'll go there next and see what we can find. And so Kirito and Co. made their way to Cliffa Town. Cliffia town. I don't know, man. These places are weird. The three keys. Now, I love it how it tells us to head to the town of Cliffia as if we've. This is why I feel like that last quest just feels weird. But yeah, hearing that Medina has fallen to the idea of re reviving the Pontifex definitely doesn't come across as a hot idea. It is not very knightly indeed. But it makes me either think that, like, either Hershian's gonna be the final boss, or it's possible maybe she will revive the Pontifex and we're gonna have to fight Quinella again. People might describe her as hot, but I'll be honest, I do not care for her. You got girls like Asuna and Sinan, why? God, we've barely come across any monsters in this zone. The West has ter is terrible for monsters. Actually, already have fast travel there, so we're just gonna do this. Much better. The sound of thunder can be heard even from here. We should be getting closer to where the lightning struck. Alright, let's do a little investigation here. 
We've been able to hear the thunder for a few days now. We weren't worried at first because it was so far away, but it hasn't let up. And you have no idea what might be causing it? Not at all. This is the first time anything like this has happened. And you got the old folks causing a panic too, saying it's the work of a dragon. What could they mean by that? So is there a thunder dragon? It's an old legend that's been passed down around here. Long ago, all feared a huge dragon of lightning living in the western ravine. Could you tell us any more? I wish I could, but it's been so long since I heard the story, I hardly remember. Crazy as it sounds, all I could think of was when... It's all I could think of when trying to explain that thunder. I wouldn't... would think any elder who would probably chew your ear off about it... You ask. Elders, huh? Right. Actually, there's an old woman who lives pretty close to the Western Ravine. She's incredibly knowledgeable and has helped me out on more than one occasion. I see. I appreciate the heads up. A legendary dragon. That actually, that's kind of actually exciting. Especially if that dragon has the power to control the weather like this. Only we've known about the existence of dragons for a very long time. It's our only lead, so let's find this old woman and see what she knows. Agreed, let's move out. Now, there was a dragon by Yu-Gi-Oh's sword. Of course, we'll clearly kill that. The next objective was an old woman at the Western Review who knew about the dragon. But before heading out, we stopped at the village to get a little more info. Whoa, that lightning is definitely getting worse. I wonder if the dragon is responsible for this, too. Let's go over the legend one more time before we talk to the elder. Do we know the legend? Um, a dragon with the power to wield lightning dwells in the western ravine. It loved the land, so, and any who defiled it recited its wrath and lightning. Eventually, the ravine's people revered the dragon and earned its protection. Should we assume the dragon is actually responsible for that lightning? If the legend is true, then the constant lightning would mean the dragon is angry. A huge dragon in the end mountains or even the human realm is a little scary. The end mountain dragon reminds me of Berkeley and the northern white dragon. I love it how there's been no one point that, again, this is a reference. Again, Berkeley is a. Hell, Berkeley is actually from the same town as Alice and. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, doesn't it? I think the dragon causing lightning in the western region is the Guardian Dragon. Guardian Dragon? I've heard about it from before from Cardinal. There were four Guardian Dragons, one at each entrance to the Dark Territory. There were allies of the human realm in their war with the Dark Territory. They were? Makes it sad that Berkuli actually killed one of them. He's the, the one from that table. Fable is, yeah, as he's saying, apparently the administrator used the Integrity Knights to kill them all off. Yeah, but Cooley killed the Frost one, and I don't remember any of the other ones being referenced. This is well. Which honestly should not be news to Yu Gi Oh! So the dragon in the Western Ravine was brought back to life by the clamps, just like the giants in the entrance. Anyway, let's focus on getting more information to hurry to the ravine. That does make me wonder, what are the other dragons? So I'm guessing, well, at least maybe not canon for the game, but if the game goes anything based off the actual... There's a chance for a heart-to-heart, -heart. why not? Talk about the world. I want to do lots of... Aww. Talk about food. Talk about battle. Dude, so get, your get yourself a girlfriend like Asuna, she's the best. Talk about the world. You can do anything to other. You can do anything to Talk about food. You formed a strong relationship. Aww. Seriously, get yourself a girlfriend like Asuna. She's a babe, she's nice, she's sweet, she's cute. She has the same voice actress as Lucy. other girls, but I'm only literally remembering Lucy right now. Oh, also Makoto. Something that's probably not in this cl clear in this game, because I will say, one of the things that does make me really sad about the SAO game is 
is there only Jap in Japanese? Like, I would love to hear the English actors, like, say these names, say these situations, and, like, just honestly handle them. It's, it's interesting, it's cool, and it's just kind of... neat. Wait, is I have fast travel here? I don't think I have one, at least I don't remember seeing Obviously there's one right actually I don't think I collected one for here. But if I'm right, it should be just down here, so maybe I can do this. So I can kill you. Hey, we're level 40. Now you're fine. I can't remember, did you get to level 40 last episode of Walking I did not say. Ah, whatever. Nope, 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 nope. Damn, shows you how high level we can get in this game. Frog is apparently terrifying. But hey, there's more, so. Die, 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 die. of a frog problem. Yeah. But there's still more, so... I'm gonna keep shutting them down. There won't be any princess for you, frogs. There's your fast travel point. Don't say it. Oh, the bridge is out. Ha. 
think you're special just because you wear fancy clothes I can't afford. What the fuck? It doesn't. You're special just because you wear fancy clothes I can't afford. Everything alright? Mm. I wish. So this noble hired me to repair this bridge, but he's just, he was a oh stingy bastard. Wouldn't even give me the money to buy the materials I need to do the job. Damn, so what materials mm. do you need? Silver uh. ore. You can find it in the breezy mines at Medelia Rocks. The mines are at the far end of the miner settlement. Good, you can prepare the bridge if you have that, right? Not to toot my own horn, but I'm damn good at job. My job. That's great to hear. We'll find you your materials. Positive, we're gonna run out of this zone. So I'm gonna do this. Travel to Cliffa. Cliffia, whatever you pronounce it. Where'd it go? Oh, no. The fact that I have to pause for a second sometimes this just amuses me. And sorry, no shortcut. <laughs> Now, look how it was Asuna and Yu-Gi-Oh with Asuna when we were running through the town. But afterwards, it became Yu-Gi-Oh just shows up the instant we're out of town. Not as sure where Sinon was, because she has not appeared yet. Or at least I don't see her. She's most likely behind us. And now the only one shot is Yu-Gi-Oh. And there's someone. And now we... The boss knows he's running into shot as well. Yeah, I gotta wonder, how close did I actually run? So now that we're fully healed, we can run into anything. There's a right there. We'll kill these shrews. I'll turn them into speed. Fouls, but hey, guess you don't need to be a duck to take on foul. But um, but um, but um, but um, come on, come on. He made us. I might not be tanking, but I sure know how to handle the GPS. Maybe I'm a tank. Some people need to remind themselves they're the boss. I'm the tank. I don't forget that. I'm a tank. I'm a tank. I'm a tank. I'm a tank. 
No, actually, question for the stream. Out of the d three rolls in an MMO, what would you be? Would you be the tank, the one who's soaking up all the damage? The one, the DPSs? Or the damage dealers? Or are you the healers? The one keep you alive and why we say don't fuck with the white mage. Don't fuck with a white mage. But why we also say to go for the one in the dress. I'm trying to think where's the closest spot. Oh, no, it's right there. Not what I meant to click, but... But at least we were able to fix that. But I'm serious. Don't ever fuck with the white mage. Well, don't fuck with any of them. The tanks are gonna just... You can hit them as much as you want, but they're very sturdy. And the damage dealers... The DPSs... And... Does anyone know what DPS means? It's damage per second, man. You do not want to piss off someone who makes it their jo job to do as much damage as possible. No slug, but this one ain't in camo. And we're mining now. So my guess the point of this isn't to uh, just fight the mob, but we're gonna literally go out and... Monsters. This ain't time for the mash. What you mean, but unless we're talking about butt mashing, so I can slice you up more with my swords. I have two of them. I'm a boss. No, we should very be worried that Kirsten never ended up dual wielding lightsabers in Gun Gale. The guy already did shocking things in Gun Yale already, but... Imagine the sheer maniac he would be to be a freaking dual wielding photon sword, just two at once. Come on, slugs. You think you're anything better than slimes? Sink the lower levels. I mean... Would you think he'd do any different than he did in Gun Gale? I mean, he basically was a Jedi in Gun Gale. Hell, he was practically Mace Windu. He had the pers purple lightsaber and all that. Just remind you that sure fact, Windu, Mace Windu, I think, is one of the few characters. Again, probably there's more characters in Legend and all that, but wasn't isn't Mace Windu like one of the only people who uses a purple lightsaber? And again, when was the last time you saw using someone using a gold one? You know, I'm kind of curious where they're gonna go with the Star Wars if they ever make another movie.
Did it literally just tell me I've only collected three silver ores? I'm in a goddamn mine. It'd be interesting to see like some of the first Jedi's and like where all the fit. But I'm curious where else they'll go because I mean, there's more. There has to be more to the story. I will say one thing that kind of surprises me is for all the people comment like, uh, there are some people that for those who have seen the sequel trilogy, who did um comment like they didn't like the idea that Ray started calling herself a Skywalker. But then I'm just imagining that. Did you think she was going to call herself a... Uh, also, spoiler alert for anyone who has not seen the... Seen, uh, The Rise of the Skywalkers. So take this time right now as I'm running around looking... Trying to figure out where else I can look in this goddamn mine that seems to have almost nowhere to mine. Which makes me sad because that means I think we've only literally picked up three freaking things. But, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so, spoiler, that it makes that Rey calling herself Rey Skywalker is a terrible movie choice. But here's my thing. Why the frick would she go around and call herself Rey Palpatine? Yeah, you heard that. To me, it's always one of those details I always find weird. This is an army like, she has no connection to the name. Yeah, but you really think she would ever call herself Race Ray Palpatine? And the sheer fact that apparently Palpatine even having a granddaughter is what the fuck? I mean, obviously, it's not as simple as you know Palpatine ever married anyone, but it's still a freaking what the hell? I'm hoping with the monsters respawning, maybe the items will respawn, because I cannot see a lot of things in this mine. I don't know. Star Wars, for all of its ups and downs, is a rather interesting series. I mean, as much as incarnation stories could be interesting, the only problem with that, have the Jedi ever... Have they ever actually brought in the idea of, you know, reincarnation into the series? Like I said, we all know that the Star Wars series had... It, it had its weaknesses, it had its moments, but... All in all, I mean, I don't... I, mean, I can't be honest, like, I wouldn't tell you I hated Star Wars. Like, honest to God, if you asked me any of the movies that I just didn't like from Star Wars movies, I would just tell you Last Jedi. Really, because to me, it just felt weird. Hobo's plan and situation felt dumb. And despite what happened with the actress and how she was treated, I just don't really see much to Rose's character. Like, nothing about her stood out as a character, and honestly, even the idea that she stopped Finn from sacrificing himself to protect what he loves just felt hard. Like, I think Last Jedi brought up some interesting ideas. They were just so poorly written that I feel like, okay, do you even know where you were going with this idea? I feel like this is a, a weird thing to talk about for <laughs> in a game that's based off that's SAO, but we brought up lights. And I was just thinking of 
that's what just brought out this weird tangent, but... Then again, going off that, I'm pretty sure there's no story out there that doesn't have a weird moment. Hell, I mean, even SAO, I will say, has weird moments that I would be like, why? Yeah, still waiting to see if anything would respawn. I don't know why, it's because... I don't know. Either I'm apparently missing it, but... I feel like this mine is should be much bigger, like honest to god, like But apparently not. Which confuses me. Cause according to the minimap it seems this is literally as big as it gets. spots I can look. Monsters are already respawning outside. I'm starting. And this is the only mine, right? time I'm gonna run down here to see if I can't see anything if I'm not seeing if I'm still not seeing anything when I get back like this I'm going to try let's exit where's the nearest no let's try this fast travel to the minor settlement See what the side quest is. Maybe we'll get something from it. <sighs> Can no one handle that beast? Did you say something about a beast? Yeah, I work at the mine west of here, but a magical beast showed up recently. I'm out of a job and I don't know what to do. I can take care of that. For you, seriously, I owe you one. Ask for details. The mine's west of here. The magical beast only shows up every now and then, though. Just the idea of it sulking around makes me too scared to mine there. Alright, let's talk and find out. Dent, no! Greetings. Exit? That's not what I meant. Wait, is it still telling me to talk to her? I literally just... Uh, this is something... Notice, are you literally I'm supposed to talk to? Do you want to know more about the mind beast, Traveler? Um, sure. I'll tell you what I know. I talked to a few others who saw it, and I've noticed some patterns. Many have seen it at night, but almost nobody's seen it in the daytime. I've also heard that it's more likely to be seen closer to the mountain peak. Also, I've heard that it's more likely to come out when it's raining. Gotcha, thanks for the rundown. No, thank you. That beast is keeping me out of a job. I'm sorry for the trouble, but seriously, thank you. 
That was weird, but hey, maybe this will lead us somewhere. Is she, is she telling us to talk to... Why am I talking to everyone here suddenly? Uh, is it true that you're the one handling the beast? The other said as much. That's me. Who might you be? I'm... You know, the, the village weaver. May I ask you something? You, my sweetheart, Sapana, went up to the mine to face the beast, but never came back. Surely the beast didn't... Oh, I'll be lost without him. I'll keep an eye out for Sapina, but I'm afraid I can't make any promises. Uh, thank you so much, and please, be safe up there. And, because, you know, this is apparently a clover... Aww. Uh, she only do crafting requests? Lame. Okay. God, are you trying to have me go? Uh, maybe I'll f find there's maybe there's other entrances to the mine, so I'll find more ore as well. It's experiment time! A nightly experiment. But first, time to hunt down some more monsters. Die, 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 die. You live, you and no lowly ant. Daytime. It's day now, so we're almost like they're not gonna find it. At least all this hunting is doing us XP. thing is, I'm almost positive there's only one mine we can find it in, it's also a problem, uh... I hope there's only one mine. Yeah, once again, we cleared the area, but nothing for him to what we're looking for. I if that's just a dying ant. Alright, oh no. I feel like there should be another location is the problem.
I don't know. Here's what I'm gonna do. Go rest at the campfire. Maybe, just maybe there, we'll find something, an idea. So right now... I'm seeing nothing. And that's what's getting me. Bothers. Can we now? Okay, remove pen. Rest, rest until the night. Oops. And now it's back to the night. And let's warp to here. It honestly amuses me when the... Alright, let's see if we don't find anything in the mines right now. I feel like I did nothing to the ant and I wasn't even sure I was hitting the right one. Running the same mobs, so I keep running into them, and because I can't understand this mine. Nothing's changed here. I think I need to look something up for this, because I am 
drawing a blank here. Okay, no. That's not it either. I swear, every quest I'm coming across is literally showing me something else. Okay, this, sorry, I'm trying to look this up, and I'm very confused because I keep coming across videos that are showing the opposite of what I need to do. They're like showing something else, which leaves me very confused because the point seems to be something other than what's going on. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm trying to find this out. I'm trying to watch, find the information myself. I'm drawing a blank here. Oh, this is good for you. What the hell? These have not always been here, have they?
Well, that's not the right thing either. Something's just going on here. Okay, I guess what we're need, gonna need to do is guess leave the city in general. I'm confused by this. No, the best I can see this video is it's just some, yeah, I know it's weird. I'm using a video to understand this myself, but. As far as I can tell, we're in an area where we legit just can't seem to... Like, get there. I really just don't know how to describe this. It's like, I guess we need to do something to refresh the area, because there ain't, it ain't showing up. It totally baffles me. Town. Okay. West Roth Empire. Try it again. Hopefully, now the area will refresh and we can just continue. Because I don't know what the hell we just. 
What's to do with this? Especially every guide keeps bringing me to some other key request thing, and I'm baffled what the hell they're talking about. Like, because like, none of it makes any sense to me. Because they're all suggesting something like that I'm not asking or looking for, and like I, I legit don't understand it. Like, why are you commenting on something I'm not looking for? It's honestly something I will have to admit, like, with guides, I don't understand. Like, if you're going to make a guide for something, why leave out an information that might can be considered important? I'm gonna run past these guys to see if any of them, any of the areas respond. I'm just running off before I try to attack or kill any single one of them again. No, oh, this is just glowstone. So I'm very confused. I'm gonna try looking that up again. Because I feel like I'm missing something. Guys, I'm gonna mute myself for a sec.
All right, I think, thankfully, I found it with... So, the reason why we can't seem to find it is apparently I was right there was another area. Yeah. This is why I was having such a hard time finding the Silver War. Because no one could just say that in game. Bloody hell. So there was more to the mine, I just legit couldn't see it. Kind of annoys me. But nonetheless, at least now we're moving on. But bloody hell, why is it so hard to find that in guides? But yeah, let's clear this mine one last time for the HP. Because we like to grow stronger here. Here on the night show. Because a good knight is always prepared. Be prepared. Or you know what happens? We are not going to pass. And because it's a lot more fun to say it. You shall not pass. Yeah, thankfully we won't be stuck on this quest any longer. this side again just for the XP I feel bad that I literally had to use a freaking West other video just to find this Actually, let's make that a question now. Have you guys ever played a game in a game? Have you found a quest so annoying that you could not complete it by yourself? You could not figure it out. That you had to go look it up. Get a lot of that custom. Give us, give us a lot of XP. The better question is, we went here. Yeah, no, I'm almost positive we didn't come here. So, I'm correct. We're actually gonna have to warp right here. Right here. Yeah, I want to make time up for getting lost. We definitely won't be finishing this one tonight, though. Yeah. 
There we go. Those are the moments when I feel like I'm getting farther just to get closer. Like literally, I feel like I'm getting farther and farther away from my... Wait, where is this marker actually? I literally feel like I'm getting farther the closer I'm trying to go. It is literally right here. Why am I so far away from it? Hey, there we are. Hey, we got what we needed. Did you? You're a lifesaver. I'll get right to work. You better. Damn, he repaired that bridge fast. He's got Frankie level of bridge skills. Wow, he's fast. This is how I work when my client is in a blade she pinching ass hat. <laughs> Thanks for the help, kids. Take care out there. Oh no, thank you. Have a nice day. Quest updated. Three keys. I feel like this quest is going very longer than it needs to. Now we're running into a brand new zone. The Western. The twin wing blades. Renly's divine object. Blades made from a divine birth that each lost one wing. Using the two together can unleash incredible power. With Kyrgyz's help, Renly was able to draw out the twin wing blades power. Well, that ends his help. A man who approached Medea calling himself a Senate representative. Plus the restoration. Ah, oh, I didn't have enough time to read that. And just like all new zones, we get this little zone like show off. We also have a flash of light. Ooh. Got thunder and lightning. We're in plateaus. I really feel like that's translation wrong. I don't think you can call something plateaus. Fast travel. Don't, don't save. Alright. Now let's go see if we can't find this elderly lady. What's wrong? Are you okay? Uh, traitors, don't touch me. I have to hurry and call for reinforcements. Traitors, then you must be a wayfarer, is that right? Be gone. Otherwise, I'll kill a lot of you. Looks like you've already made up your mind on us being your enemy. He's only following Mena's instructions. One can hardly blame him. You said you need to call for reinforcements. Well, what's that all about? I would never tell 50 traitors like you. I don't think you're in any shape to go anywhere or get help from anyone. A proposal. What? You're under orders to slay beasts, correct? 
We will help you carry out those orders. Allow us to slay those beasts for you. But, in return for telling us where the beasts are, we will treat your wounds. Ugh. I'll tell you, so please help my companions. Asuna, can you heal him? Of course not, then just be still. Alright, I'll show you the way. Okay. Sounds good. So he knows the way? He knows the way! As long as he's not trying to get us to roll. Because I don't need no Rick. Is that... Raw for our savior! For our savior! Man, they must die. Back up is here. You're the... The ones our savior branded as traitors. Right now we're allies against the same enemy. We're here to help you accomplish your mission. Really, but why? We may be at odds right now, but we know men, men enough for a long time. Discharge. We'll explain later. These beasts are not going to defeat themselves. Right, only if it will help out to carry out Lady Medina's orders. I still never understand the savior part. Evermouth. The consumer. Alright, everyone. Group up and hit it till it dies. For a guy who felt very tanky to begin with, I feel like we've covered way more of his health than I meant to. And now he's a dead bitch. Nothing but data. Quest updated the three keys. I feel like this quest was definitely could have been split into more than one. There's so many aspects to it. Update, updated. Nice, that should take care of them. I love it how it implied everyone was fighting. Right. On it. Sorry, but I need you to move. We have orders to protect the clamp. You might have saved us, but we can't let you harm the flower. This again. Yeah, go for it. If we don't kill the flower, it will just create more beasts. So we're gonna cut them? Sorry, took so. Well, what the hell are you doing with them? Medina. Medina, please forgive us. These beasts were stronger than we expected. We sent one of our injured to get help, but these traitors showed up instead. Well, pretty harsh if we just saved their skin. They're brainwashed. Medina, I've already healed one of your injured. If you have any more, we must collect the fruit at once. Yes, my savior. You're really just going to ignore her? I told you, there was nothing more to say. You know, that's not what that turn of phrase says. Manda, if I don't kill the damn beast, will continue to spawn. Of course, I'm well aware. It's the head of household or nothing else. Weren't you supposed to guide and protect the people? That's what I'm doing. Beasts appear, and I order my wayfarers to eliminate them. Then the process repeats. Killing the flower is no longer necessary. 
The fruit of life is the very source of the Pontifex's, Lady Pontifex's life force, and the clamp is essential intermediary to her resurrection. I'll make sure you criminals don't get another chance to kill her. Damn, she's like completely betrayed her that I have worked with. And you don't care how many how many you sacrifice in order to make that happen? Get out of my way. Then yeah. Why? Punishing a killer, a criminal, thus heading to the taboo index. I see, you completely change your perception then. Are you okay? Let me heal you. What in the world do you think you're doing? Become my shield. Well, it's time for you to open your eyes as well. What are you talking about? Lady Pontifex is the epitome of the Axum Church and the human realm's only hope. You're wrong. The Pontifex made the people of this world suffer miserably. And what evidence do you have of that? I went to the top floor and saw the truth. I cannot believe that even you, an integrity knight, would be so deceived. I have not been deceived in any way. Whatever it is you saw, unleashing beasts upon the human realm is wrong. Do you honestly believe that sacrificing human lives to kill be beasts is righteous? Is that how you intend to gain the renown you so desire? Uh, so what is it you believe? For what do you fight? If you don't believe in Lady Pontifex, for what justice do you wield your sword? Alice, believe in yourself. You couldn't possibly understand how I feel. So perfect you can't even comprehend the suffering those living underfoot. The integrity I loved by Lady Pontifex wouldn't know the pain of those unloved. Remember when Medina wanted to um, be sent by herself? But I do. The Integrity Knights were only tools being used by the Pontifex. Because she's gone off the deep end. The same way you're using those Wayfarers. She's gone off the deep end. I'm using the Wayfarers? It's when moments like these, even if you go as far as to ignore your own injured allies, you even go as far as to ignore your own alpha. Using them as human shields isn't even beneath you. The Pontifex is used us like pawns. Right now, you're no different than she was. I mean, Alice is not wrong. Men has really gone off the deep end. I no longer care if you think what I'm doing is wrong. You're being used by her Shinto. Please, believe in the ACFT as in your friends. Even though I'm being used, I don't care as long as I'm recognized by Lady Pontifex. Seriously, she's going off the deep end. It's my only reason for living, to bring honor back to my family name. I can't accomplish that, then there's no point in even living up to now. There was no point in living even up to now. And for my father, I... I shall not rest until I revive Lady Pontifex and restore honor to Ortho. No. Yeah, she's gone off the deep end. Stop trying to get in my way. Lightning? Lay down your weapons and protect the flower, even if it costs your life. Too bad, I already heard what you are, what are you used to kill the flowers. However, I also know you can't kill humans. I can't, you're right. I won't let anything or anyone get in the way of my goal, not even former allies. Damn, she really went off the deep end. Mena, I don't know what you saw, but we... 
Heard enough of your whitewashing. It's all lies anyways. <sighs> no, please, listen to what I wasn't able to say to you before. It's all the same. There's always a catch. I can't believe anything you say. <laughs> hey, Lime. I really want to trust you, too. Please, believe me, Medina. I... I would just laugh if a lightning bolt just... The lightning strikes are getting worse. Seta must be... I don't want to fight you right now, either. You're asking us to let you go? On the contrary, I'm letting you go. Pretty sure they could all kill you if you don't leave this place right now. I'll... I'll command the wayfarers to harm themselves. Oh my god, Medina! Yeah, they don't know. You don't really mean that. You don't really mean that, do you? Your sense of the revival Lady Pontifex takes priority over a few left. Holy crap, Madina, seriously. What are you saying? How could you... I'm quite serious. Let's go. We need to do something about the lightning. Well, do as you wish. However, I do have one request of you. What do you want? I'll place my trust in you and the wayfarers to subjugate the beasts. We won't harm the clans, but please ensure all the beasts are eliminated. Very well. Alright, let's go. Medina, what is it? Be careful. Save it. Damn. I heard what happened. I can't believe Medina would do such a thing. Honestly, I'm shocked. I thought we got along pretty well. I know there are exterminating circumstances, but still. Is there really that much dirt on the Orthomino's family name? Yeah, she told me a little bit about it back at the academy. They were given a special duty by the administrator long ago, right? Right, and after filling that duty over generations, they became known as def defects. But that Hershian guy referred to House Orthanos as saviors. That was merely a lie in order to manipulate Medina, although... What? He really was familiar with House Orthanos. He must be up to something. It's certainly possible, but it's not like we can prove anything just yet. Yes, all we can do now is keep heading for the ravine. Alright. Well, on that somber note, we'll actually call it here for the night. So without further ado, I hope you enjoyed our show. Share, favorite, follow, like, spread it around. If you know others to be entertained by my show, send them my way. I'll happily entertain you all. Also, don't forget, subscribe. It can only help the channel. So without further ado, night show offline.